A God of Death appears. After you find a book that is capable of taking people's lives by writing anyone's name on this book of death, they die immediately by a heart attack. This kid will soon have the power to kill anyone in the world without getting caught. Light Yagami is a law student and is angered by the failing law system in Japan. Looking for answers, he hacks into the police database using his father's account and discovers that thousands of criminals are being released, never being punished for their crimes. For months after finding the death note, Light is cleaning up the world by becoming known on the internet as Kira. Unsurprisingly, it wasn't long until the world's entire police force suspected that there was an entity which was behind these heart attacks. The captain meets with the commissioner and learns that the world's best detective L is on the case. With the help of L, they figure out Kira is in Japan and is just a single person, killing people supernaturally. After meeting with the commissioner, L goes on a worldwide broadcast to speak directly to Kira, taunting him to the point where Light writes his name on the death note, causing the detective to have a heart attack and die in front of billions of viewers. But it was all a trap. As soon as the fake detective is taken away, the real L emerges without showing his face and begins speaking in a modifying voice. And here it's revealed that it was actually Lindell Taylor, a criminal sentenced death, who was just impersonating him. Trying to prove his theory, L asks Kira to take his life. By staying alive, the detective concludes that the villain can only take the lives of people he knows the full name and face off. Shortly after confirming his first theory, L reveals that the broadcast was only happening in Tokyo, leaking the area in which L is located in. After so many advancements today, L gets the police force to get a graph of the timings of death. With that he can see a pattern. The crimes always happen during breaks between classes and on weekends, most likely meaning Kira is a student. Terrified with all the discoveries L has made in a single day, Light asks his father to join the investigation team. This is because his dad is the police chief in charge of the Kira investigation. But his father won't let his son get involved. Upset he leaves the table and goes upstairs. Where he hacks into the police database and discovers that Detective L knows he's a student. With this new information he makes a plan to get the police and L of his track. Three days later the police get a shock to find criminals dying every hour in a perfect schedule. But this change in strategy happened after they discovered it was a student. So the detective realizes that he has access to the police database and there might be an imposter. With this new information, I'll ask some FBI agents to follow the relatives of everyone in the team, including Light. But he quickly notices someone has been following him, so he begins to think of a way to find out his name. Knowing this, Ryuk the book's demon tells Light that with the eyes of a Shinigami, he will be able to see name and life expectancy of other people who don't have a death note. However, the price to gain this power is to have half of the life expectancy of the user. Light rejects the offer, so he tries to find out the agent's name on his own. When he was reading the rules on the book, Light notices a paragraph that talks about the cause of death and decides to do some tests with prisoners to find out how much he can manipulate people. From this he discovers that he can control what the victim is doing before they die, like trying to break out of prison. With this new information, and knowing that anyone who touches the death note can see the Shinigami, Light decides to put his plan in action. Light takes the bus to college along with his girlfriend Shiri. As they walk into the bus, the man who has been following them also enters the vehicle and sits right behind them. Light wanting to know why he's being followed is ignored by the agent. The bus comes to a halt. Suddenly a man enters with a gun and has the driver hostage. After seeing the man, Light writes on a piece of paper as soon as the criminal approaches. He will try to stop him and shows the message to the agent. Because this is dangerous, the agent shows his badge, exposing his name and identity. He then explains he'll protect them. But Light drops the piece of paper accidentally, which the criminal ends up reading the message. The criminal points his gun at him, but is shocked to see the Shinigami standing in front of him. He then tries shooting him, but the bullet seemed to do nothing. In panic, he runs out of the bus and ends up getting hit by a car. This was Light's plan all along. Now he knows the agent's name back home. Since he is being followed, he believes that other agents are after him. He needs to kill the agent who he met previously. To do so, Light thinks of a way to eliminate all the agents at once. So Light starts to follow the agent and finds him in the subway and puts his plan into action, leaving an envelope where the agent is able to find it. When the agent opens it, he finds a Nokia and some blank paper. 
Putting in the Nokia brick headphones, light in the other side, causes a criminal on the subway to have a heart attack and die. He then asks him how many other agents are in Japan, and the agent says there's only 11 others, but he doesn't know their names. Light then asks the agent to write his leader's name on the first page. He is then told to open the computer and he'll receive all 12 IDs from his boss. He is then instructed to write their names in the remaining boxes. This was Light's plan. He has tricked the agent into writing everyone's names in a page of the death note. And with this, all the agents start to die by heart attacks one after the other. When he gets off at the next station, he collapses from a heart attack and looks back to see Light standing in front of him. A woman rushes to his aid, but is too late as Light's train pulls out of the station. Later that day, the police chief announces to the team that Kirod is now killing people who aren't criminals and gives them the opportunity to leave. Because of the life-threatening situation, most of the investigation team leaves. Only six people are left and demand that he'll show his face and meet him in person. Accepting their demand, they are led to a hotel to meet up with El. As they are walking in, they see El for the first time. He is not who they expected. They all introduce themselves by name and jokingly shoots them, saying that if he was Kira, they would all be dead. Continuing his investigation, El is watching the station's security camera tapes when he notices the agent is pointing at the car at its final moments. With that, he is completely sure Kira is one of the people being investigated. That is one of the commissioner's family, or Detective Yugami. At the same time, the woman who tried to help the agent was his fiancé, who is also a detective, and she starts an investigation into her husband's death and goes to the hijacked bus company to find out what happened that day and is told that Light was on the bus that day. With this new information, she goes to the student claiming to be the agent's fiancé and starts accusing him of being Kira. Light laughs and pretends he doesn't know anything. At his house he decides to plan a strategy in case he becomes unable to write and begins to schedule deaths to take place in the next few days. But this idea turns out to be useful in another way because Kira is most likely being one of the Yugami members. L installs security cameras all over the house, especially in Light's bedroom, who is currently the main suspect. That day Light notices that someone has been in his room and begins to suspect that he is being watched, meaning he has to be more careful now than ever. And the police chief is told Light will be left alone if his son does nothing suspicious and there are still more deaths. The law student is still not cleared of being a murderer just yet. By day 7 the remaining investigation team is still observing him. But when news about an arrested child murderer is reported, they realize Light isn't even watching. Moments after, the killer dies of a heart attack while in custody and Light hasn't done anything suspicious. Light has fooled them all. Inside the chip bag is a mini TV playing the news and a piece of paper from the death note. With the student cleared of suspicion, Elle receives a call from the FBI agent's fiancé, who claims she will risk her own life to prove Light is Kira, then asks the detective to observe the security cameras in the art gallery. A few minutes later Light's girlfriend is captured by the agent's fiancé and forces her to call Light out on a date. Light arriving at the place is shocked to see his girlfriend held at gunpoint and the agent's fiancé tries to convince him to confess that he is Kira, but the boy denies it. The agent's fiancé reveals her real name, trying to get Light to kill her for evidence. At that moment, the police began to approach the place. The fiancé is distracted by the sounds of the sirens. His girlfriend breaks free, trying to run away towards Light to prevent her hostage from escaping. The fiancé shoots his girlfriend, who loses her life in the arms of Light, knowing she fucked up. The fiancé takes her own life with one shot. Because Light already knew that she was the agent's fiancé, he investigated her and found out her real name. By going to the priest who would be at the wedding, he then used the death note to force her to call L and capture his girlfriend. And when the hostage tried to escape, she would shoot her. When his father comes to take him home, he asks if he could join the Kira investigation so he could get revenge on Kira. That's when L appears and allows him to join. Light looks at L for the first time. Meanwhile on the other side of Tokyo, a celebrity named Misa ends a video of a show and prepares to go home. Along the way, she is persuaded by a sociopath who is obsessed with her. When he corners her, the crazy man begins to have a heart attack, falling to the ground. Next to a death note, the girl touches the notebook and sees a Shinigami called Rem. 